Okay, so this video is going to talk about a couple of different things you need to use uh, or look out for when it comes to Alarm Manager. Now, Alarm Manager is something that got uh, developed and put in Studio 5000, and there are some things that you need to be aware of. Now, currently, you see an L8 processor right here. Now, that's the physical device that I'm currently using, which in this case is a Control Logics processor, um, but an L8, an L8 version, right? So that's the physical processor that is required to use um, the alarm manager feature. Now, with that said, that does give me the ability to come over here and add this to an alarm and come over here, just right click any bit inside of my PLC and use it as an alarm. Uh, I can change that again using that trip. I can use that just that simple. Now this video so much isn't going to be about how to use it, but it's going to be about what you can and can't do as far as what to expect when you're when you're trying to obviously utilize Alarm Manager. So let me show you this. Uh, in Studio 5000, again the same version, 33, uh, this is an emulated processor that I currently have running. You are not allowed to use the Alarm Manager. I can come over here and actually do the same exact thing, test this, and I do not have the ability to add it to an alarm because it doesn't have that functionality. Now, when they do escalate the pro um, emulated processor or the emulated version to an, uh, a 558 or 5580 processor, then yes, the possibility would probably be there. Now, the odds on them doing that, I, I, I really don't under I don't understand why they would because they do have a thing called Factory Talk or Factory Talk Logics Echo, and you can emulate a processor that way. If you do have a process that you need you need to actually test, but you don't have the processor with you. To prove this out a little bit more, um, this is an L7 processor, L73, and that's again the physical device. So the physical device that is currently in the Logix chassis right here. Uh, you can see that it's using an, a uh, version 33, right? And we have the same exact logic, right? Come over here. I do not have the ability to add the alarm. So with that said, that does clarify that an L7 processor is not allowed to do that, right? So an, L7, um, an L6 processor is obviously not allowed to do that because you can't, you can't go but so many versions up. So an L7 processor does have the ability to go to obviously version 33 and, and, and beyond. There are some limitations that are in place so you that require you to go to L8. Uh, but just keep in mind, um, this is, and also too, you can't cannot use it in the emulated form. So if you are trying to use it with an emulator, um, and you currently see I am, am in slot six of this emulator, so Logic Simulator, Studio 5000, Logic Simulator. Um, doesn't matter which version you have, you are not allowed to use the uh, Alarm Manager. So again, it's in the Controller Organizer, it's just not there. It's not gonna be there, It's not going that function's not there. So if you wanted to actually test it, you could use Echo. Again, uh, when it comes to that, I have videos on Echo and how to use Echo. Again, that is a another software that you would be required uh, instead of using emulator, you could actually emulate the process using Echo. I'm not gonna show that in this video. The The point of this video is to more, more or less show how to use, um, not necessarily how to use the alarm manager, but what are some caveats, what are some things to look out for, what are some things that you need to be aware of when using the alarm manager. And again, to keep this in a short format, I wanted to make, basically show you the, the things that are if you're trying to look for that you're and you're searching for it just like i was and trying to say oh oh by the way i should have this there why isn't it there it's because either a you're on uh emulator processor uh you could be on an l7 processor l6 processor um if you are on an l8 it it, it is required that you have a compact guard logics um, there are two forms of compact logics that you can use it on uh, you can use it on the Control Logic platform, which obviously you see I am using it here, um, and the Guard Logics. So all those would be required to be in the L8 process or the L8 status of the processor. So just keep that in mind, and then you will have the ability to use it. With that said, you will have the ability to come over here and uh, utilize this. So I'll talk about uh, in another video about how that works. 
um, what are some things to look out for when you're using that and then what is the difference and obviously you see an ALMD here and you see an, uh, a standard alarm so um, in preference I actually prefer the ALMD and I'll explain that in a later video but with that said I just wanted to pass the things on if you're trying to look for an alarm manager and it's not there these are the reasons why so with all that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video found it helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one